Welcome. Thank you so much for being here in this space. This is a very early morning practice. This is our first one of this series of gentle morning stretch. My name is Mary Carmen. This is Yoga with Mary Carmen. Thank you once again for being here. And I am super excited to offer this to you. So I thank you once again for allowing me to be at your place and your home through this media, this channel. So let's begin with this gentle morning stretch. As always, we will start with the breath. Go ahead and sit comfortably on a block if you, dis if you wish or on a blanket. Whatever helps your hips to move um, <coughs> to a place where the knees can be lower than the hips. Relax the shoulders back. And let's close the eyes here. Let's just move inward into this. Relaxing the hands on your legs. Take a nice full deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Again, inhale, expand. Allow for the belly to open up. And exhale. And one more time like this, inhale. Feel the belly, the lungs all the way to the top. And exhale. Now from here, you can continue with the eyes closed. And lift the arms and inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. And it just start connecting with your breath, connecting with your intention for this morning's practice. One more time, inhale. Reaching a little bit taller, and as you exhale. So what is it that you need, you need to focus on this morning? Maybe that one word that comes to your mind. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And maybe you don't have anything right now that comes to mind, and that's totally fine. It will come up to you. Now, from this place, we're going to come into our fours. Two warm up spine. So go ahead and place the knees under the hips, hands right under the shoulders. And then we move into cat pose. On the inhale, we allow the belly to drop, the shoulders move back, looking up into the sky. And as you exhale, pull the belly in, arching the spine, exaggerating that arch on the spine as you tuck the chin to your chest, allowing the crown of the head to point down, pressing the knees and the base of your palms down on the floor. Again, inhale, open. Shoulders move back, a small bend on the elbows is okay. That allows for the shoulder blades to meet in the back. As you exhale, pull the belly in. One more time. Inhale, open. Taking it slow. And exhale, pull the belly in. And then from here, Coming back into a neutral spine. Now from here, go ahead and open up the knees a little bit wider, be touching, sit on the back of the heels and allow for the arms to come all the way down, the forehead all the way down. This is your child's pose. So from this place, we're going to go a little bit deeper into our practice. Nothing to think about here, only just breathe. Just breathe here. And as you continue to exhale, can you bring the chest a little bit closer to the earth, which means you need to walk those hands farther to the front to allow for space in between the shoulders for that chest to open up. Nice. Now from here, we're going to take a lateral stretch. So go ahead and bring the hands towards one of your sides about 45 degree angle or so and place the opposite hand on top of it. <laughs> I might be off camera at this point, but that's okay. Go ahead and place those that shoulder down or the forehead as close to the floor as you can. 
feeling the stretch on the side of your torso here. If this is not enough, you can go a little bit further and then try to see if that stretch intensifies there. Inhaling and exhaling. And then slowly, let's move to the other side. All the way to the other side, nice. Inhaling, that opposite hand on top of the other hand and exhale. Inhale, open space. Exhale, feel into that space. And then breathe control. Let's go back to center. Hold the wind to our fours. And then from here, go ahead and curl up the toes, press the hips back. And with control, activating the core, we're going to lift the hips up into the sky, into the first downward facing dog of this practice, maybe of your day. And then from here, we're going to just bend one knee and bring the opposite heel down. Inhaling on the tiptoes. Exhale, bring one heel down, the opposite knee bends. Inhaling. Exhaling, continue with this activation of the back of your legs. And then try to bring the chest a little bit deeper. Inhaling on the tiptoes. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Making sure your hands is in But as you exhale, lift the heels up and then bring the chest a little bit deeper. Just a slight movement here. Pressing those palms down and then bring the heels all the way down to the floor. Nice. Now from this place, inhale and bend the knees, look in front of you in between those hands. As you exhale, bring one of the foot all the way to the front and bring the back knee down, top of the foot down. That top leg is at a 90 degree angle. And we're going to just sink into this. So go ahead and place those hands on your knees, slowly moving yourself up, inhaling and exhaling, and just try to sink. But activating that core so you're not just collapsing into this, you're protecting that lower spine by keeping that core firm. Inhaling, exhaling, moving slowly into this. You're still waking up. Your hips are still stiff, perhaps. Inhaling and exhaling. So the way we move during morning practices are very different than how we move in a midday or an evening practice. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice. So you can stay here if this feels good for you. Or take the arms all the way up on the inhale. Lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, allow for the arms to just go down. Now bend at the waist, lean forward, and bring the arms along. Inhale. It's like a little wave. And exhale. Moving slowly. We're going very gently, very fluid here. Inhale again. Exhale. Nice. Now from here, go ahead and place that right foot all the way back. Press the hips back, sitting on that transition, and then bring it up into your force again. Curl up the toes. Press the hips up into the sky. We've been here before, but you start noticing that you become a little. Inhale, bend the knees, look in front. Exhale, opposite leg, all the way forward. Back knee down, top of the foot down. So that same, that same series. That loving movement, just going into the hip, knee. Make sure you have that 90 degree angle on that other side. Place the hands on your knee and then slowly start pressing the hips forward, inhaling and exhaling. Moving into this, lengthening the hip flexors on the other leg. So you start gaining more strength as you keep doing this. Moving gently. 
Inhaling and exhaling. Stay here when you feel comfortable. Continue to lengthen that hip flexor or add the arms if you're ready. Inhale, bring this up. Exhale, open the shoulder blades in the back are meeting. It feels so good on your chest. Now leaning forward, bringing the arms like a wave. Inhale, up. Exhale, can you open the chest a little bit more? Again, inhale, bring the arms. Exhale, open. One more like this. Inhale. Core is active. And exhale. Nice. Both arms down. Bring that foot back. All the way back. And sit on that child's pose transition. From here, bring it up into your force again. Curl up the toes. Press the hips up into the sky one more time. Let's paddle those legs again, bending one knee and bringing the opposite heel down. Inhaling on the tiptoes, exhaling one heel down, opposite knee bends. Inhaling on the tiptoes, exhale, opposite knee down. And again, inhaling and exhaling. Press. On the tiptoes, exhale both heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look in front of you. On the exhale, place one foot to the front and the other one follows. We're at the top of your mat. I'm going back into the middle so you can see me. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, legs are straight. Now here, bend the knees and let the chest come all the way on top of those legs. Bring the arms behind, interlace the fingers and lengthen. As you straighten up the arms. So if you're not here, that's okay. You can use a strap or a towel and just hold it here. Just focus on this back stretch, the arms lengthening, and the neck needs to be softening here. So move it side to side. Feels so good. And then from here, we go bring the arms all, all the way through. We're moving all the way up into our Tadasana pose, mountain pose. So go all the way to the top. And as you exhale, allow the arms to just move to the side body. So I'm going to face you. Inhale. You can stay where you are. I'm just facing you so you can see me better. Exhale. Hands to your heart center. Reconnect with the intention of your practice this morning. Again, inhale. Bring this up. This time on the exhale, bring one of the hands. Grab the opposite wrist and then just pull the arm to the opposite direction feeling that stretch once again on the side of your torso make sure you feel it all the way down your heel your hips inhale and exhale nice you can stay here or you can intensify this stretch by placing the leg which arm you're pulling behind bend both knees slightly inhale lift and as you exhale, feel the stretch now going all the way down that back heel. And then release. Other side, both arms down. Opposite wrist. Exhale. Just lengthening. Feels so good. Inhale. Exhale. Again, morning time. We need to stretch. We need to lengthen those muscles. They've been on the bed for many hours. One more time here, or you can take it into the advanced stretch by placing that other leg behind, bend both knees slightly, inhale, exhale, keeping that chest open, so not leaning forward here. One more time, inhale, exhale, feels so good, and release. Both arms up, inhale, as you exhale, fly down, deep forward bend. Facing the other direction. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Place those hands down. Walk one leg back and then the other. Take the knees all the way down to your plank position. Modify. Shoulders move back. And high to low push up here. Inhale. Roll it through. Open this up to that cobra position. Shoulders move back. The hips are down. But keep that core strong to protect your lower fine and then from here just slowly press all the way back 
into your child's pose. Knees wide and take a break here. Rest. We move very slowly with few breaks in between just to allow the body to still wake up. This is your gentle morning stretch. And then from here, we're gonna take it up into our fours again. All the way into our fours, curl up the toes, press the hips up into the sky, downward facing dog. Now from here, inhale, bend the knees, look in front. On the exhale, see if you can walk to the front with the opposite foot first, and then the other one follows. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, deep forward bend, chest and thighs connect. Arms behind, interlace and open. See if you can bring the shoulder blades a little bit closer this time. And then from here, let's take a side stretch again. Bring in the block if you need, if you have one, if you need it. Go ahead and place the block on one of the sides. And where the block is, bend that knee. That palm is flat down on the block or on the floor. The opposite leg is stretch. That's the side where the hip is just pushed back. And which arm is free? On the next inhale, bring, look up to the sky or the shoulder. Exhale, bring it down. We're going to the other side. So if you were using the block like me, remove it and place it under your other hand. Bend that knee. Opposite leg is straight. Shooting the energy out, the la out, out of that hip. This arm is free as you inhale, lift, lengthening, reaching. And as you exhale, bring it all the way down. Nice. Remove the block, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, deep forward bend, arms behind once again. He never gets old, this stretch. And then from here, we're going into our first chair of this morning's practice. So bring the arms together, I'm gonna face you. Bring the arms, bicep by the ears, relax the shoulders, sit on the back of the heels, knees together, tuck the pelvis under, now I'm going sideways so you can see. Tuck the pelvis, engage the core, arms are active, or you can take it gentle here on your chest, palms together. Inhale and exhale, deep forward bend. Once again, arms behind, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place the hands down, walk your feet back into your plank. You can take it on your feet, I'm going to take it on my knees because I'm taking a really high to low push up, elbows in. You decide how gentle you want to take it, by the way. Inhale, roll it through. Show back and down. And from here, you can take an extra push-up if you want to. Press back into your child's pose and rest. Nice. Now from this place, we're going to move. And visit just a few series of warriors just to move slowly through them to add some strength on the legs. And then we come down to the floor. On the next inhale, move it up into your box. Now from here, curl up the toes, press the hips up into the sky. From here, inhale, one leg reaches behind you. And as you exhale, move it all the way through in between those hands. The back heel comes down. Both arms come up, strong front leg. Inhale, reach, moving slowly through this. This is your warrior one. We're just visiting them. We're not staying there too long. Exhale, warrior two, shoulders on top of the hips. That knee is at 90 degree angle, arms are active. Inhale, warrior, so that front your arm can protect your lower spine and elevate the other side, feels so good. So here is about the lengthening of that front torso rather than how far down you can go. This is not about impressing anybody. <laughs> this is about your strength. It's about how far you can go, not just how look you can look. Back to center. Inhale, four. X, let's and down, and the other one goes down. Now from here. We're going to activate those hips or take that opposite knee down if you're taking it with me. 
pinch those arms under your shoulders. And let's take the knee circles to the front and then to the back. Feels so good on that hip joint. Two and one, nice. And then from here, if you were on your downward facing dog, come all the way down to your front. To your chest. Inhaling. So allowing for the breath to take and set the rhythm for your practice, to move a little bit slowly into your practice allows you to think through between. We often, we barely have the opportunity. So take this opportunity to do that, just to slow down. Bring it up into your force. Curl up the toes, back into the sky again. We're going Exhale, move it through in between. Down. Real one. Strong front leg. Inhale, bring this up. Warrior one is here. Relax the shoulders. Exhale. Warrior two, once again. Shoulders on top of the hips. Open up the arms. See if you can sit a little bit lower on that front knee. 90 degree angle. The front palm is up, preparing for reverse warrior on the inhale. I like to bring that other arm behind my lower spine to protect it. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Reach. Lengthen a little bit more. As you exhale. Bring it all the way down. All the arm comes down. Lift that back heel. Place that leg, that front leg, all the way up into the sky. Three-legged dog. From this place, you move by bending Going to that knee. So I'm taking it gentle. Go ahead and bring that knee. Let's move zero for three, two, and one. Opposite direction for three, two, and one. Nice. Bring that knee down. Press the hips back. And now this time, I want you to go ahead and place the tip of the fingers down on your mat. The elbows are lifted off the ground and see if you can bring the chest closer to the earth, the chin, the forehead by letting those arms lengthen and off the mat. This is a little different stretch for your shoulders, for the inside part of your arms. And then if you want to intensify on this, go ahead and open up the knees a little bit wider and see if you can bring the chin down. So this adds a little bit on your upper back too. Stretching those muscles feels wonderful too. Remember, if you can achieve this all the way down, you can always use the block underneath you. And then from here, let's take it all the way up into our force. Beautiful. Now from here, curl up the toes, press the hips back. We're going into that uh, sun salutation flow. Inhale, bend the knees, look in front. Exhale, one foot to the front. The other one follows. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, deep forward bend, arms behind. Open this up. Inhale, bringing it up all the way into Tadasana. Reach, inhale. Take a very gentle back bend here if you can. Engaging the muscles of the core. As you exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. Recommit with your intention. Again, from here, inhale, reach up. Gaining energy, exhale, move it down. Energy to begin this Tuesday morning, this day. Inhale, lift, halfway. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Place those feet back into your plank. On your knees or on your toes. High to low, I'm taking it on my knees. Inhale, roll it through, shoulders move back. You should feel this more free and open here on your upper spine. With or without a push-up, press all the way down. Downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, let's take it again. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, moving that other foot to the front. The other one follows. So you're feeling, you're building up energy. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, deep forward bend. Open through the heart. Inhale, moving through your chair all the way up. Very gentle back bend here. Exhale.
exhale, arms to the side body and to your heart. And then from here, we move again. Inhale, bring it. Exhale, fly down, flat back, straight legs, all the way down until you're meeting all the way down, bending the knees, chest and thighs connect. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, place those hands down, walk it back into your plank, knees down. If you're taking a gentle, high to low. Preparing for something new here. Inhale, roll it through, shoulders move back. And then from here, taking that push up or not, press it back into your child's, into your downward facing dog. Now listen, the next challenge is gonna be a side plank position and you can take it on your knees, like me, or you can take it energetic this morning. So I'm taking it on my knees, I'm really taking it gentle on my body today. So if you're on your knees, you should have a straight line from the top of the head down to the knees. So no break on the hip. From here, we're going to move one of the legs towards one side and extend the other leg down. So one leg is straight, the other one is supporting me, and I'm extending my arms, trying to create a straight line from the base of that palm all the way. Hold it here, activating the core. Hold it here. So if you're on your feet, you should look something like this. So wherever you are, I'm taking it gentle today. And you reach a little bit higher on the hand, and one. Bring it all the way down, moving right into the other side. Make sure the hand is right. Bringing it all the way down. Beautiful. On your plane. Roll it through, last one here before we move down to the earth onto our backs. Shoulders move back and down with or without a push-up. Press all your child's pose and rest. So this child's pose, you can take the knees up. You're exploring all of the levels today. Back. This might be your child's pose of today. Allowing for others. Melt and let the gravity do its job here. Breathe. Take a moment to reconnect with your intention once again. That intention that you started with this practice. Love, compassion, kindness, patience, discipline, stamina, whatever it is. How can it, how can it, can you nurture that? That into your day after this. From here, let's bring this up into our box. Cross the feet and sit all the way back. So I'm going into the middle of the mat. You can face me if you want to. We're going into a series of wonderful stretches for the legs so the first one comes here so bend your right knee and extend your left leg inhale reach up lengthen into the spine make sure those sit bones are really on the floor and as you exhale bring in one down and that if you can bring that elbow onto that leg even better but if you're not there yet you can always and help yourself into this, extend the opposite arm, inhale, reach, and as you exhale, try to go into this, so me, you're trying to reach, bend, and extend the side torso here. So avoiding this, we're going into this with an open heart, trying to stack the shoulders, one on top of the other. You can smile if you want, I'm in the camera, so I have to smile. Looking up is very good, but if it doesn't work for your neck, you can and release. Beautiful. Now, with that same leg extended, let's take it to the front. So this time, you're, gonna, you're going to rearrange your hips. Take that leg to the front. And here's where I would recommend the use of a strap if you have one, or if you don't have one, a towel or anything that can help you reach farther. So that foot that's pointing forward is flexed 
you're pointing at me. I wanna go ahead and use my strap here. And then we're gonna move like an L shape, inhale, straight spine. And as I exhale, I'm going to move my chest forward, bending at the waist. Okay, let me go sideways so you can see a better um, view of this. So you're moving like this, inhale, exhale, you're moving forward, avoid it. We're not going, we're not letting those shoulders move forward. Instead, we're letting those shoulders stay back in the chest, the heart. It's always leading with the heart. That foot is flexed, that way you can create more stretch at the back of your leg. It feels good. And if you have the flexibility to go all the way down and grab that foot, then you go there. Inhale. Exhale. Moving into this. Inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale. Can you fold? And inhale. And exhale. And release. Moving all the way up. We're going to the side so you were like this go ahead and open up both legs or that front leg that leg that's pointing forward that it should be your left if you're following me and then your right leg is extended okay same thing on this side you can use that block if you need to inhale reach lengthen both arms up and as you exhale just bring the arm down Starting to lengthen from the hip joint all the way up to the spine. Use the block if you need to. You can use it on the inside or on the outside. Whatever works for you. But the most important thing here is that your heart is open and you're trying to stack those shoulders. So this, trying to open up here. Reach, inhale, exhale. Oh, feels good. Nice. Then come up. Place that foot facing me, flexing that foot. The other leg is still stuck under. Using the strap or a towel, inhale, lengthen to the spine. And as you exhale, move in. Flexing the foot helps with the back of the leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, go in. Remember, keeping that chest open, shoulders up, or back, inhale, exhale. I like to think also with the chin leading as the heart. Inhale, exhale. So you lead with your truth, you lead with your heart. That's how I like to think about it. Inhale, exhale. That's how you should be in life, right? And release, nice. And then from here, we're gonna take it into our butterfly position this morning. So go ahead and bring both feet together. And you can place the outside of the edge of your foot together like a book. That's how I would like for you to think about this. And this is where some people have difficulties to bring this very close to you and that's okay to your body. You can use props here if this is too much for your legs and maybe you don't have the strength yet to um, Keep this and, and still have your spine tall. So use props under your legs if you need to. And this helps you develop that strength. With time, you're going to remove those blocks. It doesn't have to happen today. It can happen in another practice. And just go ahead and let the knees go as close to the floor as you can. As you lift the heart, the sternum, the spine. And if you can get a hold of those feet, even better. Inhale. Exhale. So we're going to take a couple of stretches here, two of my favorites. But I'm going to perform this looking the other way so you can have a much better view of what it looks like. You stay facing forward to me while you're looking at me. Inhale. L straighten the spine. And as you exhale, we're going to lean with the heart. We're going to lean and uh, lead with the heart, right? Lean from the hip joint. So we're not going to go too far on this one. We're just going to go in. And that I can feel that on the inside of my legs. Inhale, exhale. Now watch the second stretch. We're going to exaggerate and do totally opposite of what we're doing. We're going to reach the hands forward, arch the spine, tuck the chin, and that's going to create more stretch, more of a stretch all the way down on our lower spine and the upper spine. Looks like this. Inhale, 
As you exhale, reach those hands forward, tuck the chin, exaggerate the arch on your spine, and see if you can walk those fingertips even farther. Feels good. Inhale, exhale. See if you can kiss those toes. <laughs> Not really. You don't want to do that. And release. Oh, feels great. Before. I think I. So go ahead and see me. So we'll do um, and the left leg. The right leg is on top. So it looks something like this. Now, if this is welcome to let that leg straight forward that's fine too but i'm going to go into this like this and if you're here make sure both sit bones are on the floor so from here if you're following me bring that left arm up inhale. and as you exhale try to bring it outside that elbow outside the knee and then place the other hand behind so this is your just your anchor now from here we're going to twist a little bit more inhale lengthen Exhale, twist. Feels good. Inhale, lengthen. And on the exhale, use that elbow and that knee to go a little bit further on the stretch. Oh, I felt that on my spine. Inhale. Exhale. You give yourself an adjustment when you're doing these twists. But you know what else you're doing here? Release. You are massaging the digestive system. Very important for all of the functions of our body. So go ahead and switch your legs. This time I have that right leg under, the left leg on top. And then position those sit bones on the floor. Sit tall, extend your right arm up. Inhale, as you exhale, bring that elbow outside that knee and then bring the opposite hand behind you. Then we move from here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Again, it lengthen through the spine. Try to grow a little taller here. And as you exhale, pressing pressure on that elbow against that knee to press your spine the opposite direction. Again, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. When you surrender to the breath, wonderful things can happen on your spine. Nice. And then from here, we're ready to go to the floor. So go ahead and position yourself to where you can come all the way down. Slowly come all the way down to your back. Here we're going to place the knees. Hug your knees first, by the way. Hug your knees. And then from here, we're going to place the legs up and we're going to find that eagle leg, one leg on top of the other one. If you're like me, you have a little bit of difficulty bringing that foot behind, that's totally fine. So whichever leg is on top, you're going to move both knees to the opposite side. So I got my right leg up on top of the left and I'm moving both legs to the left side. And then open up the arms as a T shape. I'm barely having any space here. And then look to the opposite direction. Try to bring that shoulder down on the earth. Inhale. Exhale. So that ego leg is bringing that hip so high that it's also bringing that shoulder off the ground. Your job here is to allow for the breath to soften this up even more so that that shoulder comes down. Inhale. Exhale. This intensifies the twist even more. Another massage to the internal digestive system. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it back to center. <coughs> we're almost done. This is supposed to be a 45 minute practice and I think we're gonna get there today. <laughs> one leg on top of the other one. Find your eagle leg, open up the arms, and then let those legs come all the way to that opposite side. And look to the opposite direction. Inhale. Exhale, allow for the hips to move one way. See, this side is more open for me. That shoulder is basically touching the ground. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. 
And on the exhale, let go of all of the negativity that might be still around in your head. This is a new day, a new beginning. Bring it back to center. Release it. Well, let's go into blissful baby. So bring the hands to the bottom of your feet and rocking side to side. Just being free here, feeling the freedom, feeling the happiness that you can bring into your life, the joy. <sighs> this just feels so good, side to side. Very nice. And then from here, we're going to take it into our rejuvenation pose. We're going to massage the thyroid, and then we're going uh, into the earth. So from here, bring your legs up into the sky. And this is rejuvenation pose. You can just draw an eight in the sky with your feet or the infinity symbol. And you can stay here. This might be enough for you. Or you can take it into your shoulder stand. Shoulder stand looks like this. The back of the neck is completely flat on the earth. That's very difficult to do with this microphone on. I'll try my best. So engaging your your if the arms bit longer that's fine you can bend the knees make sure the back of the neck is straight you can bend the knees if you want to add on to this or if you're ready to come out of it slowly moving down supporting Nice. Let's take one bridge pose just to go the opposite direction of what we just did. So it heels very close to the seat bones, or if you extend your arms down, extend that's how hips. Lift the hips, the the um this part down, your ribs down. Inhale, lift the hips. So that means that you really need to engage <laughs> on those glute muscles and your legs. And stay here. Nice. And then from here, let's take another inhale. As you exhale, bring the hips all the way down. Hug your knees one more time. Bring the forehead very close to your legs. Grab the arms around your legs. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. All the way down. All Savasana. Press. A favorite tune you want to play here. Want to dim the lights? That's perfect. Do that. Cover your. With really. Just did. You showed up to your practice. You showed up on your job. Challenge yourself or challenge yourself into new ways. Or maybe the challenge today was to just go very gentle on yourself rather than going into the poses that you know you can achieve. But instead, taking the modification. Sometimes that can be a great challenge. A very hard challenge for some of us. Gentle, gentle with ourselves. So this place, my friends, stay here and enjoy your resting pose. For some of you when you're ready to come out of this pose, the way you want to come out of it is by. And when you're ready, you can press that hand 
down in your seated position as you come on. This is your practice, so please take your practice and your savasana for as long as you need to. I am going to end my practice, my time with you here, and I want to remind you to sign up or subscribe into my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Support this cause of uh, high quality free yoga videos for everyone. And uh, also click on that bell sign to get the notifications every time that I upload a video or that I have an event like this. I will see you next Tuesday. Or if you want to join me on Thursday morning at 6 a.m. for a more challenging practice, I'll be here. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day from my heart to yours. Namaste.